Okay, with homework exercises, sometimes we don't have a mark scheme, but you can do the questions using your pencil and paper, and then you can check your working using software, such as I'm going to use GeoGebra.org. Go to slash classic. Make sure you type in this bit there at the end, not just GeoGebra.org, but slash classic. Then your screen will look the same as mine, and you won't get the graphing calculator. So for the, I'm going to show you a few different skills fairly quickly. So I'm following through the investigation we did last week around midpoints. So I need to type in the coordinates A, B, and C. So let me take A, I'll just have a bracket, minus 4, comma, 5, and then enter. Let's take B, 8, comma, negative 1, close bracket, and C is at 8, comma, 9. So I get my three points. Let's have a little look at those. We can see them here on the coordinate plane. Um, we can see A, B, and C. We need to find the midpoints of these. So let's just put some line segments. You've got different tools across the top. This is a bunch of point type tools. You can do different things. These are a bunch of line type tools. Here we can find perpendiculars and angle bisectors, um, polygon tools, circle tools. Um, these ones are good measuring tools for finding distance and so on. So I've got my points drawn. I'm going to draw some line segments and this will make the triangle. So if we just add these line segments in like this, one, two, three. First question is to find the different midpoints. So the calculator will do this for us. We want to find the midpoint of each section. Click, 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 click. There we go. So I've got the midpoints, which are D, E, and F. You can read the values off here, D, E, F. So 2,7 and so on. That's the first one. Next, we need to find the perpendicular bisectors of each of those. That's super easy. Um, we've got the midpoint, so we just need to add a perpendicular line through that. Click the line, click the point. Click the line, click the point. Click the line here, click the point. I was being careful not to click the axis because it would then give us a perpendicular on that one. We don't want that. So we've got the perpendiculars drawn. Move through to part three. Select two pairs and find the intersection. So in this case, I'm going to find the intersection between these two. And you can clearly see they're all going to intersect at point G. 3, comma 4 is the answer then that you will get for both of these two. Then it wants us to find the distance between the points that we found in part 3 and the points A, B, and C. So we can use the distance tool uh, here. Find the distance from A to G. And that's 707. Select the move tool here and I can move that out of the way. So to here it's 707. Let me go back to the distance tool, go from G to C. Oh, it's the same. It has the same distance. Um, so they're all intersecting at the same point, and they all got the same distance. Let's get the last one, go from B to G. Yeah, they all have the same distance. And then here you just need to summarize. So lastly, just to help you a little bit more, let's have a look at some of the algebra. So if you've got to find... These are the points we put in. These are the midpoints here, sorry. These are the midpoints. But then these are the equations of the perpendicular lines. I can switch them on and off by clicking there. That's that perpendicular line. That's this one. And that's this one. So I can switch them on and off uh, like that. Uh, I'm missing this one. There we go. Now notice the format of the perpendicular lines, basically in standard form, these three. Um, so here at this point, I'm looking here, and these are basically in standard form. Choose these button here. Um, I can take the settings and change various different things in the setting. Let's switch off the label or change whether it shows a value or name. Um, but for lines, it's really useful here in the algebra. You can ask for it to switch it into y equals mx plus b format. Um, so now that line is rewritten as y equals mx plus b instead of standard form. Let me take this one here. This one is in standard form. Um, and I'll just select it then and then change it to mx plus b form. Okay, that should help you to sort, well, getting used to GeoGebra and finding different ways, different tools will help you find solutions, check your answers, see whether your equations are correct. Um, and I'll show you some more tools on this another time. All right, good luck.